Hi everyone, Dr. Sean here. I hope everyone's doing okay, staying safe. Today's topic is going to be about temporaries and what temporaries are used for. So temporaries are used for a wide variety of restorations like crowns, veneers, bridges, inlays, onlays, etc. The list goes on. Now, they have several important functions, okay? Uh, the number one important function to me is just to protect the teeth that have been prepped for um, a restoration, okay? Another uh, reason it would be to prevent any sort of tooth movement. So without a temporary, the adjacent teeth or the opposing tooth can kind of move into its place. Another reason is so patients can eat and speak normally while the restoration is being fabricated, okay? Um, another one is to maintain the gum tissue. And in my case, as a cosmetic dentist, a really important reason for some temporaries, especially full mouth cases, is to show patients any sort of smile design. So all in all, basically a temporary restoration provides the patient for, with protection, comfort, and aesthetics until the final restoration is made. You don't need any temporary, any temporary restoration if dental office has some sort of CAD CAM and CIRIC machine. Um, and also if you're doing some sort of minimal or no prep veneers. So just example, I did a, a, no, a minimal prep veneer case uh, last week and it was amazing, I just didn't need temperance. <laughs> um, now in terms of how long a patient needs to wear temporaries, I would say on average it's about two weeks for the lab to help really fabricate the crown. Now, but this is for simpler cases. So a more complex um, cases like full mouth restorative cases, the patient's usually in temporaries for about a couple months just to kind of get their, their bite used to it, kind of see how they're functioning. Um, but I would say on average, probably about two weeks, especially in my office, but during COVID, the cases actually have been coming up faster because there's not a lot of dental offices that are open. So Now, there's two ways temporaries can be made, usually using an indirect or direct technique. For a direct technique, which is the most common, it's performed chair side, and that's what we usually do here at the office. Now, an indirect technique is when you take impressions and you send it to the lab to make. I use these for full mouth re reconstructive cases because I want to make sure that the temporaries are a little bit more stronger and harder and fit a little bit better. So it's always so those are better to be done outside of the lab. But our most common temporaries I make here are the, is the direct technique chair side. Now, in terms of materials, there are some several materials you can use to make temporaries. There's prefabricated crowns, there's self-cured resins or light-cured resins. I personally use self-cured resins like Alexatemp. Um, that's just the most common, it's easy to use. But now the most important part of the temporaries is the placement of them. They need to stay in place. If they come out, not only does it cause a shift in the teeth, which causes fit issues, which is a big issue, but for me, the most important thing is to keep the patient happy. And if the temporaries still continually falling out, patients get upset, and you never want an unhappy patient. So it's our job as dentists to make sure that they're cemented properly, but also it's our job to properly educate the patient on the do's and don'ts of the temporary. Because I can tell them, I can cement the temporary perfect, but if they're doing things that they shouldn't have, the temporary can break or come out. Now, some of the things that we should tell them is that they should not eat or drink anything hot for at least an hour, um, at least an hour after the temporaries are placed. Also, they should avoid any sticky or hard foods. Um, I always recommend to use a soft bristle toothbrush. And also, most importantly, if they're gonna floss, don't go up and down, but to go to put the floss in and pull the floss through the sides of the teeth instead of pulling up or down, okay? So that's very important. But yeah, those are my tidbits about temporaries. If you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, have a great day. Stay safe. Bye, guys.